Stacey Anthony may be just days away from getting out of jail, but her problems are far from over. Are you concerned about her safety? Yes, we were all concerned about her safety and, and her future. This morning on the Today Show, Casey Anthony defense lawyer Cheney Mason revealed he's worried about Casey's safety once she gets out of jail on Sunday. She has been getting death threats. We're told at least one of these threats has been turned over to law enforcement. Not guilty. There's no question that a week after Casey was acquitted of killing her two-year-old daughter Kaylee, emotions are still raw. I believe all these people right here will kill Casey if they had a chance. Turn on the TV and you'll see the news channels that devoted countless hours to Casey Anthony's trial are now devoting almost the same amount of time to the question of Casey's safety. That bitch needs to die. The most painful, f***ing, horrible, slow death ever. A new USA Today Gallup poll shows that the vast majority, two-thirds of Americans, think Casey definitely or probably killed her daughter. A new I Hate Casey Anthony Facebook page has more than 35,000 fans, some of whom openly call for violence against Casey. One writes Casey, quote, should be put in the middle of a field with mothers standing ready to beat her with bats and clubs. Another says, quote, watch that little bleep get such a beat down in prison that she dies before even leaving. That would be justice. The fact that she was, you know, found not guilty shocked so many people and you know honestly a lot of people are responding in a really aggressive way it all means that if jail's an unpleasant environment for casey that's nothing compared to what she'll likely face when she walks out of it are you worried about her safety there's such antagonism towards her i am just hours after anthony was acquitted her attorney jose baez was on abc expressing concerns about casey's safety will she have bodyguards you know, we're, we're in the process of trying to take that next step for her and assist her in that in that regard, so I, I, I don't know yet. Even the guy who was trying to have Casey potentially executed for capital murder told CNN's John King he's also worried about Casey's safety. When she's on the street, I, I simply hope that people will just leave her alone. And tonight, Showbiz Tonight can tell you, today it's not just Casey Anthony feeling threatened by the anti-Casey backlash. Juror number 12 has gone into hiding. This morning on the Today Show, NBC reported that an unidentified juror is so frightened by the anger at the Casey Anthony verdict, she's left her home. Her husband tells NBC News because of the backlash, she picked up the phone, called her boss, retired, packed a bag, and left the state. Her husband says that as she was leaving, she said she'd rather spend time in jail than ever serve on a jury again. Plus, an Anthony family attorney tells Showbiz Tonight Casey's parents, George and Cindy, have received 16 death threats via email, telephone, and fax. It seems like almost everyone involved in this messy and tragic case is having to deal with hostility and threats of some sort. Some of them are frivolous but apparently some are serious enough to where the police had to be notified. I really wish that none of this would have ever happened. Ironically, even as Casey was locked up awaiting trial, she complained about the infamy the case was generating outside the jailhouse walls. In some ways, I almost feel more protected here than if I were on the outside. But now, with Casey about to lose the protection of jail and her relationship with her family apparently damaged, looks like Casey Anthony's next trial will be surviving on the outside on her own.